Hello and welcome to the calculator guide video on how to quickly find probabilities using binomial PD and list. We're going to answer this question in this video. The random variable X is distributed binomially with an N of 6 and a P of 0 0.3. And we've got to find the probability that X equals 1, the probability that X equals 3, and the probability that X is greater than or equal to 4 but less than or equal to five. And with that last question there, part C, just remember that the binomial is a discrete distribution. So what that's really saying is we're looking for the probability of X being either four or five. And that's going to be useful for us when we get the information from the list from the Casio class quiz. So we're going to use binomial probability distribution and the list feature on the FX991EX to help us out with this one. So from the menu, it is distribution so navigate to there or press 7 and then on the first page we want option 4 binomial PD and we want 1 for list now what we're going to do in the X column is input our relevant values of X so for the whole of this question for all three parts the relevant X values are 1 3 4 and 5 now for the sake of completeness you can put input 2 in there as well if you prefer uh, but we're not going to be needing it to answer these questions so it's 1 3 4 and 5 once we've inputted 5 and press equals just press equals one more time and that takes us to where we need to input our parameters so our n value is 6 in this case and our p our probability is 0.3 so just input those, press equals, and then equals one more time to confirm. And you can see on the probability column there, we have now a list of probabilities that are gonna be relevant to us. So if you navigate right, uh, we can see a fuller display. Well, this first probability that we have in the column, that's the answer to part A. Probability of X equaling one is 0 0.302526. Very quick there, we can just read that directly from the list and that's answer part A. And if we navigate down, we've got directly to the answer to part B here as well. So the probability of X equaling three is 0 0.18522. Now, if you remember, the probability of X being greater than or equal to 4 or less than or equal to 5 was really the probability of X equaling 4 or 5 because of the discrete distribution. So what we can do to find that probability is that we can add the two values that we have here for 4 and 5 together, and that will give us a probability for part C. Now we can't add within distribution mode, unfortunately, but what we can do is store these into the memory and then add them together in calculate mode alternatively you could just write them down and add them together later so here we've got the probability of x equaling 4 and x equaling 5 so i'm going to store the probability for x equals 4 to memory a so remember it's store and then a and then i'll store the probability of x equaling 5 to b store b and if you go to calculate so menu and one now I'm just going to recall those figures, so it's alpha A plus alpha B to add the probabilities of four and five together. And there we go, that equals 0 0.069741, that's our answer to part C. The probability of X being greater than or equal to four or less than or equal to five. So if you've enjoyed this, then don't forget to subscribe for further videos, but that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time on The Calculator Guide.